Let's fucking go. Let's fucking go. Let's fucking go, Snacks. How much did you cry after that game? <laughs> How much did you cry? Bro, I got fucking goosebumps when Daniel Jones ran in. We're centered. We're ready to go. Bro. We're live. <laughs> You're so giddy. Bro, Daniel fucking Jones. Rip. He looked really good. He looked really good. <laughs> really fucking good. And that was no shit Tampa Bay defense. Top balls. That defense looked good the first two weeks. He was fucking carving my... In that middle... <laughs> that middle... There he is. Five seconds into yeah, the show. Really. We love I it. deserve that you win. Do. You I deserved it. This is the only Sorry. time you've deserved to... Cr yeah, about to say I you deserved just it. I'd see the fucking... The audio yeah, just yeah. went like that when you did that. I'm sorry. I deserved it. No, you did. You deserved yeah, it. Yeah, I'm happy for you. It. Hold I on. Really can you am. break down? You weren't at the Emerson Hotel, were you? No. No, I was home. I was okay. in my living room. Because I went... I saw yeah, Daniel I Jones ran in. I was in my room, right? I was yeah. at my mom's. I was in my room. I oh, saw you Daniel left too, yeah. I saw Daniel Jones run in that touchdown, and I legit... I got goosebumps. Yeah, was, you said that. I thought you were being sarcastic. No, no, no. There was only a few times in sports that I've gotten goosebumps, and I was like, oh, my God. Like, this is historic, what he just did right there. I left, and I was like, oh, they got it. I left, and I had the Yahoo Sports app up in my phone. I'm going to Dunkin' to get iced coffee, and I realized I wish I didn't order the coffee because I'm already fucking amped up about what just happened. Yeah. I'm sitting in the Dunkin' parking lot, and I'm like, oh, I see the Tampa Bay is fucking driving down. Driving. They're on, like, the fucking 10-yard line. Game over. And all of a sudden, I'm walking into Dunkin', and I hear from the Emerson Hotel, <gasps> No, I was serious? like, they missed really? it. That's why I figured. Oh I thought God. it was you at the Emerson Hotel. Oh my God. No, my neighbors. It's funny because I, I we, we had the windows open. It's a beautiful night out here in, in New Jersey, uh, the greatest state of all time. And my neighbors were flicking their lights when I was screaming. Hell yeah. They were flicking their lights. Bro. Dude, when I tell you, my dad goes, my dad, my dad's like half in a bag already. He goes, he's missed two extra points. There's no way he's making it. I'm like, dad, it's a fucking chip shot, you dumb motherfucker. He's going to drill it. When I saw that ball going that way, I was like, oh, my God. Matt Gay's kick is no good. Wait, wait, where's the offsides? Where's yeah, the offsides? You're waiting where, for that penalty. Where, yeah, I was waiting for something, and when they fucking missed, when they went like this, I... I don't know what to a say. A great day. I don't the know. The greatest what to day say. of your life. Dude, they would. <laughs> hold on. Hold on. We'll, we'll get into it. Uh, uh, and to be honest, I, I'm very sorry. I, I forgot. I, on my way here, I'm like, dude, I, I brought my laptop downstairs. I completely forgot in the car. I, I, like, <laughs> I, I'm sorry. I, I rushed here. I, I skipped out on dinner. Like, my dad was pissed. Wh whatever. He that, made that's great, why great I said right before yeah, he, he came in, I go, I, I text you, I go, get your ass here right after the game. I, know. I knew you were going to be like, I got to eat dinner. I know. Well, we, we, we do Sunday yeah. dinner at the house. Know, and know, it, it, but w whatever the case was. Honestly, next, we should have just fucking filmed the episode at your house. That's, that's what I was saying. At, sun at Sunday dinner. That's what I was saying. That's what I was saying. Anyways, go. But. Anyway, but what I'm about to <laughs> say what now, saying. what I'm about to say now is uh, he looked so good. Can I ask dude. a question? He looked so good, dude. I have a question regarding the game because I missed something. I was checking my team. Shoot it. Shoot so it. when the, the Bucks went downfield, they threw to Mike Evans. They got the big yeah, play. It was a bomb. It was like 50 yeah, fucking yeah. yards. I was, like, I was like this. I was like, fuck this. I threw my wine. I, I had a glass of wine. So, I fucking threw it. Yeah, I so, was like, fuck this. So they're, fuck in, it. they're in field goal range now. Did they... Take a delay of game. Took a delay of game. And move back five yards. They moved back five yards. When they had a timeout. When they had a timeout. Bruce Arians, what the fuck are you doing? I completely agree. They should have fucking ran the ball right up the gut. We just kicked the Go ball the from there. Why are you going to lose even, five yards? Even, Why are you going to lose <laughs> five <laughs> yards? No, it's just bullshit. They just gifted you that. What happened at the end there when you got the five-yard penalty? Delay. What happened there? I just took it on purpose. You took it on purpose? Yeah, I want the field. He's better back there. That field goal's easier back five yards. No, no sense hurrying. Broncos get fucked last week. We got a 52 yard or whatever field goal against us. You get bullshit 34 yard field goal. They miss it. Listen, you dumb motherfucker. I was happy walk. for you. you. Now I'm no, not happy anymore. You I'm actually dumb not happy. Look, You dumb looking. Don't say it. Stupid, whatever you were about to say. Stupid mustache looking <laughs> asshole. Let me tell you something. You gotta talk I've lost. The mic. I, I'm literally talking into the mic. It's Calm right down. there. Calm down. It's right. The audio on this is it's, fucking incredible. I can't wait to hear this. It's just red. It's just red. You broke my laptop. I'm glad you didn't bring yours because you would have broke multiple laptops at this the point. The Giants in the last two years have lost on 63-yard field goals and 59-yard field goals. We just won on a fucking chip shot. I know. That was missed. All right. I know. So Daniel Let's Jones, get into it. 23 of 36, 336 passing yards, 9.3 yards per attempt, two touchdowns. More importantly, 
He runs the ball runs four the times ball. for 28 yards, scores two fucking tugs two on the downs. ground. Threw up a 50 spot in the Scott Fish Bowl for me. A Holy 50 shit, fucking yeah. spot. Yeah. So you're pretty sure he got you 47 in the, uh, in the dynasty. Yeah. So Daniel Jones <laughs> is here to stay. It is officially the Daniel Jones era, and he looked good. I think he's going to be good. I think he's the gonna. moment didn't look didn't look too big for him. It's, they were down 18 at half. It Animal seems put it well. Like, it's like it's like you know in this day and age, you know, statistics aren't really that impressive unless you put an outrageous number up. Right. But when you think of it relatively, compare he goes, you know, if if we put Drew Locke in for a first game against Tampa Bay Buccaneers, he wouldn't. No, yeah, he's not going to no look shot. like that. No shot. Exactly. So just so. to see him, you know, come out and really put on a show, you know, like fuck, he looked good. I'd be excited if I was. He a did, man. Even if he it was really the Dolphins, and he, like you want to see. That your you first round pick. Performance. You want to yeah. see him look good. You have to you see something. Two, you have two, to see something two that, that makes you want to see you know? next week or the future. Yeah. And that's exactly what we saw today. It seems like you guys are going to go from franchise QB to franchise QB, which is going to make so many teams just fucking hate you guys. It's just like, <laughs> how how does that happen? New we'll York, see. Time York, will tell. That's what, that's what Gettleman does, times, baby. That's what time will tell. Yeah. We should have. He, he's playing. Gettle ch- goat. He's playing chess while everybody's <laughs> playing checkers. While everyone on Twitter is playing checkers. And the fact that I was the only one in Nashville that was fucking praising that pick at six was. Actually, there, there are people I mean, tweeting the picture of you at the bar, like with your, <laughs> your hands yeah. down. At. I tell you what, I haven't looked at my phone like outside good. of your text and calling good, you. I haven't yeah, looked at it. It's idea. blowing up. That's incredible. It's so we up. wanted to start this episode of Fade the Public Off with the raw emotion of snacks coming right off of Daniel Jones' victory. This was like 15 fucking minutes ago. Oh we are filming Sunday night, which is not our normal filming night. We're getting it out on Tuesday because Snacks has business to take care of. Apparently, they want to. Would you say you want to play defense for the Giants now or something? Uh, yeah. Well, the fact I, I will say this. They paid Janoris Jenkins to play defense. If they played me, I swear on my fucking mother, they would do a lot better than what he bring, brings to the table. So Snacks got a, a private tryout this week in, in Atlanta. We're not going to be able to film on Tuesday, which means we're moving these days up a little bit. Just, wa- just this week. Just this week. You're watching this on Tuesday. We'll go back to our normally filmed schedule on Friday. But today, we're going to recap week three. We're going to talk about our E-Town get-down matchup, me and Snacks. It was not a pretty one. Oh, is it bad? I, I won. I, I it turned bad. By Keenan the time Allen, I left, I didn't even Keenan look. Keenan Allen went nuclear. Yeah. Did he really? Dude, nuclear. he's wide receiver one. I, yep. He's yeah, wide 100%. receiver one. I got him in the fourth round. So we're going to uh, we're gonna break down our E-Town get-down matchups, Animals E-Town get-down, pathetic fucking victory that he came away with. I fucking won. I would have. I'm so pissed. Like I was, it was one of those hundred point victories. Yeah, some oh, bullshit. Yeah, yeah. Of course. That's right, so baby. We're gonna That's do right. that, and then we're gonna talk about some of our uh, key takeaways from Week Three's game. I have a few, and then we're gonna uh, kind of freestyle the rest of it. So, hey man, can I just quick time out? Come on. I want to shout out. Come my on, boy. baby. I want to shout out my boy Colin B. Listen right now, Colin. I am sending Colin you B. Who's Colin, Colin B. He's my, he's my boy. Me and him, we we talk on Instagram. Loyal oh. follower. Love him. Please, please, please. I hope you're listening to it because I'm sending you a fade the public sweatshirt. I want you to DM me your size and where to send it to. You're the man. I love you, buddy. Please DM me all the information. You got it. Colin B, baby. Let's oh, go. Let's get, in, let's get into Colin it. Congrats, Colin B. You Colin got B. in on uh, Snacks' good side. Yes, he did. Doesn't really happen too often unless nope. you're a Giants fan. That's it. I, I don't know what you and did he is. sending nudes. And, okay. <laughs> <laughs> that explains it. I'll, I will say no more. So, uh, let's talk about our matchups. Me and Snacks had... It looked like it was back and forth for a while. Dude, it was riveting. When we were watching the 1 o'clock games here, it was riveting. It was riveting. It was going back and forth. For the second straight week, DeAndre Hopkins just underperforms. uh, And then you had Keenan Allen to put up almost a 40 spot for yourself. Wait, Um, really? He ended up with 37. Yeah. Yeah, things got out of hand. Eckler had... A semi dud game, eleven and a half points, which is not, you know, that's not Eckler. I think the biggest problem for me right now is the fact that I lost my second round pick, Terry Kill, and I was happy with Sammy Watkins coming in. He's just performed like shit. Yeah, yeah. he Eight, is. That's just, that's Sammy Watkins though. He's eight point nine points, seven point nine points. Well, yeah, you think? I mean, he's getting ridiculous targets. He had thirteen yeah, targets last week, say, eight targets today, only caught five for sixty four. Was one of my takeaways. And man. it's like you know, you can keep saying like, oh, the opportunity's there, and he's going to be the wide receiver now. one there. But fucking Miko Hardman and Demarcus Robinson keep making plays. Keep and that's the thing, like shots. Robinson, and it's funny, like I'm not like Watkins and Robinson both have hair coming out of there. We, I thought it was. Uh, Every Watkins time one of them twice. makes a play, yeah, I'm like, yeah. oh, fuck you, Watkins, yeah. and I'm disappointed. And, and you, know, you know it's a big fantasy matchup when literally he had the Green Bay Packers defense. I had the Patriots. We mostly wa- – we didn't watch the Patriots game at all. No, we literally watched the, the, we, the Broncos uh, uh, Red Packers game. It was game never, it was never on. But, like, Green Bay would get a sack, and we were so tight at, like, 2 o'clock, 2.30, whatever it was. He's like, holy shit, that's a big point. It's a big point. And it was. Aaron Jones – 
did not, you know. Aaron Jones, four-yard carry. Here we go, here we go. I mean, we were talking about it. Like, Aaron Jones, this was easily set up to be a very disappointing week because you could look at the stats he put up last week, but the opportunity is still a split with Jamal Williams. If if the defense plays well on the opposite side of things, which we'd expect Denver to do on the ground a little bit, like, Aaron Jones didn't have a good game. He literally had 19 rushing yards, two rushing touchdowns. That was it. It saved his entire— I know. We we were talking about that. Without those goal-line touchdowns, you— Probably would have got blown out by 100. Yeah, good to see that fucking uh, that he got the goal line touches, though. Yeah, yeah Jamal it's, Williams, it's very nice. Jamal Williams is a little more... Uh, let, let me ask you, like Aaron Jones coming off this game, is he... I mean, obviously, the early season schedule was tough, right? It's at Chicago, Minnesota, Denver. Still he's gonna we get knew it. that coming into the yeah. season, though. Exactly. So you have, so, to, you have to bear So tell me this. Games. Are you looking at it? Are you looking at him as someone you're going to hold? Is Are you looking at him as maybe a buy low, a sell high? Because I think there's a lot of different angles you could look at Aaron Jones with. Because he's going to be done with this tough schedule. But at the same time, he's still splitting work with Jamal Williams. Yeah, so it's like, uh, I want to sell him because I don't like the workload split. Yeah. yeah, but the schedule gets a little bit easier. Not I just that don't much know if easier, he's though. really a sell high candidate. I don't know if you can sell him high. I mean, I mean he, he had a huge week he, last he, week. He, he had he, two touchdowns right, this week. Exactly. He's he's producing the numbers. He's at the goal. He's got the goal and carries. I'm keeping him. I like the schedule moving forward. It's clear that I think the maybe game script a, a little bit. I just hate miss- how Jamal Williams is like the pass catcher there. We yeah. said that. At the Makes end of, no me- fucking remember sense. Remember at the end of the I mean, first he half? He like passes. We, Matt, I think yeah, Matt LaFleur is lost. I, I do. Think he's, he's fucking absurd. I do. I yeah. really. Week one, they look terrible. Well, apparently. Granted, a good good Chicago defense. Minnesota, good deep. I, I get it, but I, his play calling and his game management alone, just he looks well, lost. Game management seems to be like an issue for a lot of first first year head coaches. Yeah, but um, I was I was. It's like one of those some... things you don't really think about probably until you're right. like no, really yeah. in but the it's, it's, it's key. an experience. It's key. Yeah, yeah. It is. But uh, I was listening to some. It was Aaron Rodgers was talking about how this is the play calls are the longest he's ever had to call in his entire career. Like the act, the physical names of the players. Yeah, like the naming in the huddle. That comes into the whole audible thing. Yeah, and he, like week one and week two, I think he had like the wristband on. Never wore that. Which is a cheat sheet, he said it was, so he can figure, like, that's, you don't want Aaron Rodgers to have the, have a fucking cheat sheet. You have have the best quarterback on the planet. Simplify it so that he can go out there and do what he needs to do. We talked about the end of the first half, we were watching on NFL Sunday ticket, and a minute 10 left, you have a timeout, and you're running the ball. I, I, come on. Two minute drill. Like, who come could do that on. better than Rodgers? Nobody. Yeah. yeah. Like, what are Nobody. you doing? Then, it, wh- That's the, the other game? thing I, I would we're, say sell high for Aaron Jones is because I don't trust LaFleur. Yeah. I, that, That's the I, other see, thing see that, that scares I, me. See, that I agree with. But I do like that he's getting the carries, he's getting yeah. the workload. I like that. He's getting the goal line work. I'm worried about Devontae Adams. Am I crazy? Uh, Am no. I crazy? I mean, here's the thing. You're not three crazy. Weeks, three weeks into the season is is panic time. Yeah, it so is. So it's, it, it's not eight necessarily points? like sell. Yeah, he had 7.6 points, half PPR. Yeah. Four for 56. So, like, with those guys, they're not necessarily like sell right away, but it's like you have to adjust your expectations. And right. what that means is maybe you need to start moving other pieces in order to get a wide receiver one in yeah. your lineup. I mean, I still definitely consider him the guy there. And, again, it's like you have to understand that if you're going to be – you know, going into the season with the expectations to lower Aaron Jones because of the schedule. Same thing with Devontae Adams, right? Yeah. You know, like when when they're playing Chicago, tough matchup. Minnesota, yeah. he's getting Xavier Rhodes. Denver today, I'm sure Chris Harris. We don't Harris look. At, we don't have the numbers yet because it's so early, right off the games. But I'm sure Chris Harris, who shadowed um, whoever last week, Allen Robinson, I think it was, it was shadowing Devontae Adams today, which yeah. led to a big game from MVS. Yep. So he's got a much easier matchup next week against Philadelphia. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the rest the rest of the way, it's pretty good. Yeah, he's got good matchups. So I'm, no. not, I'm definitely not selling high in Devontae. No, no, or no. Selling I'm, not, I'm keeping I 100%. He's going to blow up. He's too good of a wide receiver, and Aaron Rodgers is too good of a quarterback. They're, they're going to figure it out. If anybody were selling there, it's 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 Jones. But I, there's still something I, I just don't love. They, no. no offense, they should have blown the fucking Broncos out. I mean, I will disagree with that. Okay, I know you will. <laughs> I, God. Do you actually believe that? Like, shouldn't have been a blowout. No, we, listen, we we should have a good defense. I know we have zero sacks through three games, but we should have. What a good defense. What do you think defense. the problem is? That's actually absurd. It's zero actually, sacks through three it's, games. It's very alarming. With the best defensive coordinator with, with Bradley coach. Chubb and Von Miller. Von Miller we should, yeah. we what should the have fuck is that? Some sacks. Explain yourself. It's bad. It's not good. It's not me. It's Vic Fangio. He's on the field. He I think can't it's see. you. I think it's equally you. Vic Fangio. See, see, I said the same thing. My dad goes. My dad was yelling at me. He was yelling because I was going crazy for the Giants game. I'm like, Dad, I called you. I was saying, "What's up?" And you were cursing at me because Bill Belichick took Tom Brady out and didn't cover your bet. But I'm going crazy because the Giants are just held on on third down. And he goes, "You're a psycho. Calm down." Are you fucking kidding me? Stop. It is us. Get the <laughs> fucking shit together. Stop. Okay? It is us. Get it together. I agree with you. Get your shit together. Get rally together. the troops and get a fucking sack. Did you not game. just see the win I had? He came away with a big win. Him and Daniel Jones are one and zero together in their careers. Which, by the way, by the way, uh, Saquon too. He's going to be out like two weeks. Yes, dude, he's, he's going to be out yeah. like six weeks. Probably. Nah, he's not. Nah. He's, he's a he's, he's a thoroughbred. He's going to. It doesn't matter. We had Daniel Jones. 
Next week, me, Colin, Willie, it's going to be bad. Oh, my God. Please. Go it's going to be really bad. Please don't Home remind game? me that you're going and just I'll talk to you at Fade the Public on Tuesday. Like, Deal. I don't even want to know about Deal. that yeah, fucking no, extravaganza. Probably, you, you get it. You get it. For so, those that don't. Just, so back into the matchups right now, 126 to 152. I have Robert Woods tonight. He has Nick Chubb. So barring a ridiculously high career game out of Robert Woods and yeah. Nick Chubb pulling a David Njoku from last week, there's no shot I win. Yeah. I will fall to one and two. I'm still fine with my team. I think the players are fine. Um, Your roster alone, you'll be fine. My ro- yeah, and my roster's the, the fine. I, score, you'll, I need Terry Kill back and Hunter Henry yeah. injury killed me too. But like otherwise, it was you know some tough matchups today and they didn't come through. I like seeing OJ Howard. He could have been 0-3. Could have been 0 3. Yeah, well, I could have zero. We told, you, my not, defense we told, could we zero told you not to draft Njoku. It's crazy. We, we've said goes. that all summer. So, Animal, let's talk about your fucking 100 point victory. Okay, so we're looking at Animal's lineup. Chris Chris Godwin, five points. Calvin Ridley, one point. Chris Carson, 3.6 points. <laughs> Yagenson, 0.6 points. Mostert, 5.9 points. Tennessee defense, one point. Jeez. How the fuck did you win this game? That's First terrible. of all, Hawkinson dropped like three. He did. Three end zone did. balls. Like, Love yeah. to see it. It was insane. <laughs> I would love to see. It was Mark, insane. But I'm pissed. Listen, I'm fucking pissed. Go. His, you look at Deach's lineup. You got John Allison who put up a stinker. Zach Ertz has not been Zach Ertz this whole year so no, far. I can't believe no. this was the game he put up after. Yeah, like, this was a game dead. that you were confident like Zach Ertz. Like, there's yep. no other. There's it's no one else out there. Been, it should have been, been Zach Ertz's game. Yeah. game. Uh, Duke Johnson, you can't. So what's the problem with Zach Ertz? Are we t- like it's just the Eagles' offense is concerned. No, and that was one of my notes. That more, one of my takeaways: their offense does not look in sync. They no. don't look good at no. all. All off season, we heard this is you know Carson Wentz is back to full health. Yeah. Their offensive line is the best in the league. Their weapons are ridiculous. This is something I was saying all off season because yeah. I believe real- it. And their defense is going to be good. It's like all just a good fucking team all around. They lose to fucking Detroit at home, twenty seven to twenty four. That's 24. a really really bad loss. Looks bad. Eagles really locks, baby. Loss. Detroit Lions. Roar! Going into Philadelphia. They're going to eat the f- Eagles. So I, I want to talk about like the running back situation there because Sanders was a guy that we knew was going to take a while to kind of mesh into this backfield and become the guy. And he's he's leading the team in touches, and he's looked the best efficiency-wise. Talent-wise, yeah. Yeah, I, I mean, yeah, wow, like, I didn't realize he went two for 73 through the air. No, he actually, he actually he went did. over 125 yards. Yeah, from he, 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 he I didn't realize he had that big of a game. He got a lot of carries. We were focusing on the fumbles during the Yeah, so Miles Sanders, 13 for 53 on the ground, two for 73 through the air. And that's the kind of versatility we liked him for. 13 carries? 13 carries. Wow. That's been like his weekly carry total. He's getting that. He's just like he can't get above like four and a half yards per carry any of the games. He doesn't. He's not breaking any long runs, which is the killer. But I think those will eventually come. Jordan Howard had 11 carries, got a goal line look or got a couple goal line looks, which led to the touchdown. Uh, but Miles Sanders had some some carries inside the 10-yard line, had some carries down by the goal line. So I think he's equally as involved. Uh, it was good to see Darren Sproles fucking not in the game. Finally, oh, dude, I'm so sick of that fucking guy. Yeah, so Miles Sanders, really am. four targets, Sproles one, Jordan Howard one. So it's slowly coming into shape where it's becoming Miles Sanders' backfield like we had predicted. The problem is just he's not the running back in an elite offense. Right. The offense looks bad. That was my biggest takeaway. I, Watch, I still I like think that they'll, game. It they'll was, get it together as the season goes along. It's yeah, only I mean, week you three. Would, you would think the offensive line, everything in, in general, would, yeah. would start meshing well Sometimes better. Sometimes it takes some time for these teams to click a little bit. But, but you why? Think they have, but yeah, like why? why this they've, team? Been like, all, they, they've all been together for so yeah. long. Why is it taking this? It's why not is like it a new coach or weeks? anything. It's uh-huh. weird. It's I think they ended the season playing with Foles. No, stop. It's a cause for concern. I'm reaching. It's a you cause are. for concern, yeah. But I so, think things, uh, hopefully things will click at the same time. Carry on Johnson with 20 fucking carries yes, today. Yes, sir. I didn't that's realize he got 20 take. carries. 1.8 yards per carry, though. 20, that's not 20 carries, 36 yards. That's what we're seeing, though. Like, it's so inefficient on the ground. I mean, they, they ran the ball 28 times today for 86 fucking yards. And, but they were, on the go- they were on the goal line three times. He got two carries. So he's he's their guy. Yeah, he's, he's, he's their guy. absolutely their guy. But, again, it, it kind of comes back to the fact that, like, this offense is one that we were – not excited about per se so we need to see more big plays you know volume yeah. is key but like we also need you need plays you need big plays you need, you need something plays. like that and carry on i mean we saw it last week at like a 40 yard touchdown catch but like this week yeah, when he doesn't have scoring. one of those big plays it's like it's shit. Kind of shit if yeah. he doesn't score he's scoring six points so it's not it's not ideal yeah we were um another guy in the in your matchup chris carson fumbled again yeah it's not it's killing me not good it's killing me crazy rashad penny's out for this one and I'm like, yo, Chris Carson becomes like a top fucking eight back As pretty he should much. should have been, yeah. So he has 15 carries in three straight games. And the problem is we're seeing Carson's receiving workload, receiving total yep. go down each week. I believe he had like six catches the first week. Last week he gave some work away to uh, Rashad Penny. And this week I think he only had one target. 
So we're seeing that come down a little bit, and that was a concern. You know, they talked about it. They're like, ah, we're going to get the running backs more involved in the passing game. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. Heard that all year. What is your concern level for Chris Carson right now? High. Really? Yeah, I, the, the fumbles. I, the one thing with running backs, you start fumbling the football, if you have a talented guy behind you, it's going to start becoming a share. It's That guy's going to get more reps. You can't just keep trotting your running back, unless you're like Zeke or Barkley or somebody like or McCaffrey. You can't just keep trotting him out when he keeps fumbling, and that's no, I know. It's a huge concern. Yeah, that's another. Especially fumble. they don't that's, have that's, like that's three in two weeks. Yeah, so it's Chris Carson. He's what a seventh round pick. There's no right, like, draft yeah. capital. There's no. There's huge more contract. draft capital. I wonder. Penny, yeah, so he's healthy. It, he's, it makes you wonder if if Penny was in this game, you he know, would, what would have Chris Carson's? Because like they started giving the ball to CJ Proceis at yeah. this point. That's, like, that's that's when you know. know. That's when you know. <laughs> yeah, Russell Wilson threw the ball fifty fucking times today. I mean, they were trailing for most of the game. Yeah, but that's I mean that's nice. Four hundred yards, two touchdowns. Tyler Lockett. One of my boys, yeah. 11 for 154 and a tug. So that was obviously good to see. Will Disley, is he a thing? Yeah, he might be. Is he Is he a thing? He might. I mean, Great money we spent two weeks in, in a row now. I don't understand. Six for 62 and a touchdown. Great money spent. I'm like, I, 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 just, I mean, listen, I'm starting TJ Hawkins and I'm, I might say you should probably be starting Will Disley. I don't think I'll ever be able to come on air and be like, you should start, start Will, Will Disley. You should start this Will Disley over nah, anyone. I'm not going to do that either. I'm not going to do that. I will say. It's nice to see Alvin Kamara, though. I might do it. Right? Yeah, nice to see Alvin that? Kamara. With the backups? I- 25 touches, 160 yards from scrimmage, and two tugs. A, a yeah, typical I, Alvin Kamara game. I don't... I, I, I was worried more about Thomas coming into this game, even yeah. though he had this, like 37% target share with Teddy Bridgewater last week. Kamara's a running back. The running game's going to stay the same in New Orleans. Dump off passes. Anybody could throw that. So, I'm not really... Kamara's fine. Thomas, 13.9 points. He had a touchdown, only five catches. I think he took seven targets. seven targets on 27 uh, pass attempts. So, you know, yeah. 26% target share, the same he's thing. He's going to yeah, get so his targets, getting, even if animals throwing him the ball. He's well, gonna the get problem is you look at, you know, <laughs> he goes from, like, averaging, what, like 10 to 13 targets with Drew Brees to, to seven. He's going to, you know, you're going to cut his targets almost in half. Not quite, but I know what you're saying. You mean not quite. It's almost half. Yeah, but it's closer to not half than it is half. I'm not going to argue about that. Because I'm right. Why not? Stand up for yourself. No, Stop I'm letting Snacks bully you. He's not bullying me. All right, let's talk about some injuries today. Uh, we had the one to Saquon, obviously. It looks like uh, a you know, high ankle sprain. Who cares? High ankle sprains typically take four to six weeks to recover from. We'll be back in two. You heard it here from Dr. Snacks first. <laughs> yeah. uh, I would not suggest playing him in the third week from today, uh, whenever that is. Yeah, no. But you know what? I thought it was a lot worse. So, I really did. did I, thought, I thought he broke his ankle. Oh, damn. Like, the way he limped off, he, he couldn't stood up and it, it looked bad. Nervous. Yeah, it, it he looked was, bad. A, was, guy, was a, guy like that, a guy like that with those tree trunk legs, you don't expect him to get walked off like that. So, a high ankle sprain as opposed to, like, a broken fucking ankle, big win. Next guy up, Wayne Gallman, correct? Yes. Is he the workhorse there now? Has to be, yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so Wayne Gallman. He's what, always been the What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> He's always been the workhorse. No, wait, hold on. Well, I'm, I'm not even kidding. Like, I'm biased aside. Yeah. He was really good in Clemson, and he he's not awful. He, no, no, I don't think he's Saquon, awful. Now. And your he, line looks really good. He's going to get volume. If Daniel Jones, they're going to he gets just, the he gets the goal line carries too and everything. He's Passing work, everything, yeah. Okay, yeah. unless they unless, unless they sign it back before this you comes guys still out. Have Paul Perkins. So I'm looking yeah. at the I'm looking at his profile right now. Six foot two, fifteen. So he's got NFL size. He's got size. Yeah. Four six speed though is a little concerning. Fourteenth percentile burst score. Slow. Decent and yeah, slow, it's not great, slow. Yeah. but it is the volume there. And you know, if this offense is going to be better with Daniel Jones, he's a guy that you at least have to have on your radar. It's just like you know, if you're going to pick up Frank Orr, why you're, wouldn't you you're pick gonna up look Wayne at Wayne Gallman? Right. I think both of them are. I mean, I'm not like excited about Wayne Gallman to be honest with you, but yeah, you can't I, be. He's a he's a flex play because just off the volume has to be, and he's going to he's going to get the touches like you said. He's going to get targets out of the backfield. He's not. It's not an imbecile. He could play football. Let he, me ask you this. If you're in a, a regular league that doesn't do fab, they do waiver wire, right. and you have the number one pick, yeah. number one on the waiver wire, are you using it on Gallman? No. no. I mean, what if you're a Saquon owner? Whatever yeah. you want. I mean, I think it— No, I'm, I might do it, it for to, that case. It has Cause, to Because Saquon probably something. goes number one. So if you're in a 10 or 12, I mean, you may not be running back rich on your roster, so True. maybe I will. But it, it, it's kind of it's kind of situation dependent. I'm not going crazy on Wayne Gallman on my fab. I'm not— Putting him in number one waiver if I'm not a Saquon owner, so he's, he's probably he's going, he's going to get his touches. He'll get the goal line work. He'll get everything. But he's if I'm a Saquon owner, is probably the only way I'm yeah, I'm buying him. I'm not even quick filling. I'm not even going near. Like for our league, I'm I could tell you guys now. I'm You'll let someone else. I'm not going to yeah. spend a dollar on. Yeah, I probably won't either. 
Agreed. And it's funny because in the summer, uh, when we did the show at the Jersey Shore in Belmar. It was funny. Yeah, I remember that. We, right before it, I read like a funny Wayne Goldman stat. And it was like, like, you know, like irrelevant to fantasy football. And sure enough, here we are. Yeah, talking about <laughs> sure Wayne enough, Goldman as, we a, as a relevant fucking here player. Here we are. Trent Richardson. Bring him, bring him home. Bring him bike. Bring him home. We need bring him rich bring back. Him home. He's, uh, bring him home. Bring daddy bike. <laughs> he, All right. He's, he's warmed up. He's, 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 T. Rich? A, T. Yeah. Raul? T. Hey, Raul? He played in the AA, AA, uh, AAF. AA Max, yeah. All right. Another uh, semi-significant injury was Julian Edelman. He suffered a chest injury. Now, they had x-rays and they came back negative. I have no idea what the fuck that means. Yeah, I was going to say injury. That. Is that I, I'm assuming that means like there's no broken ribs. There's yeah. no. It's not yeah. like a broken collarbone or anything. Honestly, so. I wouldn't. I wouldn't be surprised if it was like fucking cramps. It's just like just get him out of the game. It looked yeah. like he hurt. Okay, so with Julian Edelman out, I mean, we didn't really get a great glimpse of like what the offense was going to be like without Edelman because Philip Dorsett season. Philip Dorsett season. If anyone yeah. in the Go Fade Me League wants to send me their fucking first round pick now, because send you all, trades. You all declined. Yeah, send trades. You all send declined trades. my second round picks for Philip Dorsett, who uh, ended up with. Seven targets on the day, six for 53 and a tutty. Um, Josh Gordon had 11 targets, six for 83. So, obviously, Antonio Brown is out. We had James White, who was delivering his baby today. Yeah. I hope, uh, hope all went well. Yeah, that really affected the Patriots today. Yeah, it's huge. <laughs> James James White's a monster part of a game plan against the yeah. fucking Jets. who were, yeah. uh, Even with Darnold, that team's awful. How did Sonny Michel finish? Because I told a ton of people to start him. Terrible. Yeah. Well, he, he scored. scored he scored. He, scored he, that he probably nine, scored eight points. Nine for that. 11. Yeah, nine bad. rushes, that's 11 bad. yards. Really uh, bad. Rex Burkhead right. is like oh, basically the back to own there right now. That's his second game like that. He had the, as long the, as James the 14 White is out. Like, or 15 for no, 14 but, yards. But the problem is in two weeks, he's going to go for 19, 120. And two I know. Touchdowns. Like, it, it's terrible. Uh, it's funny because Damian Harris Sorry, was finally <laughs> active for the first game yeah. today. Maybe we start seeing him. Uh, no, he we didn't see him at all. He didn't play a fucking single. No, I said maybe we start. Yeah, I mean, well, today would have been a day for them to start using him because he was the first yeah. time he was active because James White was gone. Damon Harris, not even on the box score. No targets, no carries, nothing. That should tell you what they think about got him. A game didn't even up. let him drink water on the sidelines. I think he got those that either way, though, right? Even if you're a fucking healthy scratch. Yeah, I, I had an argument with my father today about guaranteed money in the NFL, and it did not go over well, so I just don't want to. What was the argument? He thinks that if somebody gets guaranteed money, like Kirk Cousins has all of his money guaranteed, and Kirk Cousins gets cut, Kirk Cousins sees no more of that money. I said, no. <laughs> no, that's why it's guaranteed. I said, I said, Dad, the sun rises every morning. Okay, that's a guarantee. Meaning, <laughs> it's a guarantee he sees his Kirk money. Kirk Sunrise Cousins. He goes, Love it. He goes, Nikki, you're a fucking idiot. No, <laughs> that's, that's what he said. I said, okay. I, I was like, all right. Okay, so James White will be back next week, obviously. Julian Edelman, we don't know at this point because we're filming Sunday night, of course. Yes. If, if Julian he's out, Edelman obviously Philip Dorsett becomes a pretty huge, pretty huge big job. priority and pickup. What about James White? Yeah, I'll pick yeah, him up. He, I'll pick him up no, off the like 1% of leagues that he's, he's like, fucking the, available. He's in in. For starting, how much does he go up there for you? You, uh, you start him with confidence. That's big because he'll be running a ton of. You start yeah, him with confidence. Slot. I think you can start. 10, I think you can start James. Yeah, I think you start James White. I think you can start Rex Burkhead. I think you can start Philip Dorsett, yeah. Josh Gordon. I fucking see Rex throw Burkhead everybody getting more of the carries and Tony. Um, yeah, James White getting a lot of more receptions in the slot. So. Yeah, Burkhead is a <laughs> Burkhead is a great pickup because he's a he's the only guy in the NFL who's a multiple handcuff. Like if James White or Sonny Michelle get yeah, hurt, he'll fill in either both of those of spots. Yeah, because both of those are individual spots that really fucking matter to the team on the Jets side of the ball. Holy fuck. I tweeted out that Is there Le'Veon even Bell, anything to talk about? No, I just wanted to talk about how bad Le'Veon <laughs> Bell is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to hear it. No, because I tweeted out last week. I was like, Le'Veon against the Patriots is going to touch the ball 40 times for 75 yards. He touched it 22 times for 63 so. yards. 1.9 yards per carry. They had not a fucking prayer. I'll tell you what. Nicky Needles, baby. That's how he knows. I was uh, I was thankful that the Patriots only put up like 14 against me. Yeah, you that are. you had. I thought yeah, they were going to throw up a 28 spot or something. We'll like, get them next week, whoever we're playing. I'm sure they will because they play the Reds. No, they play the Bills. They're at the Bills next week. So yeah, I think but Josh Allen's good for two picks. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, Easily. But they, he could look into like two scores. So Yeah. But from the defensive side of the ball, the Bills are obviously a very good team <laughs> yeah, they on are. that side. They're beast. So it's uh, so and, and a pretty low-key and interesting matchup we, there. Sorry about I mean, they like, just had a really close game with the Bengals. Let's not give them too much credit. Yeah, either. no, Josh Allen played bad. You're right. That second half, he played really bad. I mean, But for, Le'Veon for a second. Yeah. I almost feel sorry. Me too. No. I, why? Because he, he did this. This was his decision. Yeah, he, he, got, he got Sam Darnold sick and... You think well, it was him who kissed him? Listen, I'm is that your bold take? Sam Darnold, whatever. We, he, like, we were, he chose to go to the Jets. Okay, but that's not the point, though. We were all it on is. The, No, it's not. We were all on the train that <laughs> Le'Veon, you can't trust him back in first, early second, right? We're all in agreement with that? 
Yeah. But we saw week one, he's going to touch the ball literally fucking 30 times a game. Yeah. The it's volume actually, is it's there. It's actually out of control. You have, you have Sam Darnold instead of Luke, where the fuck, what league am I in? Fuck. <laughs> You're going to key in on him, especially a Patriots team. You have a Darnold that can keep defenses honest. He's going to produce more. After week one, I was like, okay, wait, maybe Le'Veon can be a fantasy player that I didn't think he would be this year. It looked like he was going right, to. Exactly. That's and he what might I'm be, saying. Sam Darnold might be back in, in a week or so. They, in, have, in they, have, they have the bye next week. So week, they're playing yeah. a game, then they have a bye. So right. Let's and then he'll be back after that. So he could be back be to hopeful, his RB1 let's status. Let's be hopeful yeah. he comes back. I'm still yeah. a little nervous about the workload, though. Like, so he has a shoulder thing after week fucking Is Le'Veon one. a buy no, low? True. I don't think anyone who's a Le'Veon owner is going to sell you him for, on the low. No, No, because he's probably their RB1 unless they took Dalvin Cook. Or somebody on the back. I'm trying to like think. You find position. an 0 and three Le'Veon owner right now who's you know just panicking. They might trade Le'Veon. Maybe. I mean, maybe, I don't. Th- I just don't think sell like buy low opportunities happen after one game. Like no, if because Le'Veon Bell had monster workloads every week. Like I'm not giving up a player that touches the ball 25 times. Especially against times. a defense and a defensive mastermind that is going to key in on your best player when they don't have a quarterback. The only so thing they had to look this at this game was, the, for Le'Veon owners. This does not. This doesn't concern me. Of course, I didn't love him going in. This game has no bearing. He could have went for zero yards and. A million touches. I don't think this would have had any bearing on how I think of him the rest of the year, which is 25 plus touches a game, goal line work, everything. 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 Can't everything. believe I fucking lost you. I'm pissed. You know, my last two weeks, I'm 11 and 1 in all of my leagues, and that's the only L. And it's literally the only game I cared about. You know, you know what's funny, too? I think we were talking about it last on last week's episode. Every time we play in regular season, I, I feel like I got your number. No, no. I think we look back at it. And was remember, it? Was it remember, that? We, we had tied for the last like three years. I look back at the record, maybe, but you had beat me in the else. playoffs. I think that's what maybe, it was. maybe that's where I was going at. Yeah, but listen, we've been at, we've been talking about it for four years. We're gonna meet in the championship this year, week thirteen, I'm and we're gonna go to really? Wicked Wolf and we're gonna watch the games exclusively together. Nobody else phones off. Done. That's it. Deal. That's it. Fucking deal. Hopefully, it happens by the time I'm dead, which <laughs> I pretty much am. Yeah. I've been a walking course for like three years now. You're like Skippy. So. <laughs> this is a human version of Skippy. After, after what happened to me today, I, oh my God, I got to get on a flight tomorrow. That Jesus sucks. Christ, totally forgot. I got to pack. I don't really give a fuck. I don't <laughs> give a fuck. I don't care if the plane goes down. <laughs> what a fucking win. Wait, hold on. Are you kidding on. me? Danger can we talk about Thursday? Can we rewind to Thursday Night Football for a second? Oh, can please, we first, please, first of all, can we, we don't really have to. No, no, I just wanted to make my one bold take here, actually. Okay. Also, how is it that Jacksonville and Tennessee play five times a year? Always. They play on every Thursday night football game as no, they, well as, no, as, they, well they as play, every London game. They play, they play three times a year on Thursday night. They play three times a year on Thursday night. Yeah. And they play every London game is the Jacksonville Jaguars and Tennessee Titans. It Why does no the sense. NFL do Could, The NFL is such trash. And you know what? I'm going to... I'm gonna. It put, sucks because we're like monopolized into it. They suck us in. We have no choice but to watch every of game. Of course. Yeah. With, Thursday night, what else am I going to fucking do? Without people, so own, with, without people owning anybody... So football. Things. Without people owning anybody in that game... Or without people betting on the over under or the side of that game, yeah. nobody would watch that. Oh, it was yeah, an atrocity no. of a football game. If it wasn't for fantasy football and gambling, nobody would watch that no, game. Nobody. That's what you were trying to say. It's, yeah, it's you said it better. It's yeah. literally it disgusting every time. And Thursday night football, like they put the worst matchups on there, and every week I'm like, yo. Something good has to happen, right? Yeah. There's no way it can put be as bad. Games on. And it's like 50 straight weeks of just worse it's and worse. Awful. It makes no, no yeah. sense. Really bad. And but the Mar- home team always wins. To my they point. always cover. To my to my point, Marcus Mariota, bro. Okay, stop. He's really fucking stop. bad. No, Scott, rewind this. I know where I said Tannehill's gonna be a starter by like week six. Dicks. Marcus Mariota is is, too, is the worst fucking quarterback in the NFL. Bar and when I say starting quarterback, I mean. Of teams that weren't forced into playing like a Ryan Fitzpatrick. Yeah, like, yeah. I would, when I tweeted out of this 26 starting quarterbacks, it was kind of a joke on Twitter, but also serious because there are a lot of teams that don't actually have serious starting quarterbacks. They chose to start Mar- Mariota. Yeah. So I put him into that string of, of QBs. He's the worst of all of them. Horrible. He literally looks like a broken man. He's, and we were talking bad. about this. He's really bad. There's something going on in his personal life. Has to be. There has to be. He's yeah. not right. He's not right. He's, he's not looks, right. He's like flimsy, like his bones are deteriorating. And I and said this. Run, he, I want to make a bold call. I'm, I'm not a doctor. Only sometimes. Oh I think something's going to come out in the next year or two. He's got cancer. Mariota's... Thank you for saying I could, it. I could Thank say you it. for saying it. You've say had it. cancer. I could say it. Is it. Does he not look like he has cancer? No, he, he doesn't. He looks really bad. <laughs> it's very, very bold. <laughs> it's bold. No, but he, no, and no. I'm not saying anything against it, but Mariota looks like he's a he, fucking beat up there's old some, woman. He yeah. looks like a... No, he, I agree. He looks like how no, I feel. Cancer, he looks but, dead. Yeah. Yes. He does. And, and I, when I watch a game, I'm like, is that snacks behind the fucking line? Yeah, well, I don't blame him. Yeah. Second overall pick. Remember that. 
Yeah. They put the future in him. Yeah, well, Jameis was the first overall. He's so. not good. And you know what? You know, you know, you know, you know what hey, else? You got me like 24 You know what else I saw Thursday? You know what else I saw Thursday night? Corey Davis is really good. Yes. He's Here's yeah. the other thing. His with Mariota, off the with, charts. With we Mariota, all know that. Bro, they put a great team around. If any other quarterback was in the Titans or in that position, they'd be very if good. If you think of it from like an good. outside perspective, Corey Davis, AJ Brown are two elite prospects at yep. the wide receiver position. Delaney Walker's been he, a stud he's for a great years. Tight end. Yep. I mean, between Derrick Henry Derrick and Henry, Lewis, I was say, you better mention Derrick Henry. I mean, the, listen, the, 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 and they have a good offensive line and a great defense this year. Like, Taylor Long coming back. The, the fact that Mariota embarrasses this team like that should just tell you, like, and I also think just the offense is a fucking mess between the play calling and the. Yeah, offensive mind. I think it's just Mario, to be honest with you. Yeah, I mean, he fucks a lot of things yeah, up. But his really arm does. is like a he fucking He holds on to the ball so long. He's just long. a spaghetti. Just like, psh, it's bad. No, I know. I want to see a report from a doctor. <laughs> I want him to go in, get a scan, and I want to fucking Let, see oh, it. Hold on. on Let, let's think about it here. I know everybody but a joke Eli. You put Eli on that team, I think they're, they're a better team. Much better. Probably they're a better Much better. I agree with that. Because a good offensive line with great weapons, a running game. Yeah. I just think You can't get worse. It can't be worse. That's my point. That's really my point. Yeah. So, so all right, well, so, so here's this: Ryan Tannehill is sitting on their fucking bench right we, now. We've been called. We've said it Put since Tannehill, the summer. I think Tannehill is much better. You need quarterback. to shave. Why? <laughs> is it going in my mouth? It looks really bad. Let me see from that side. Is it uneven? I sometimes I think I, I think that one's too. Low. Animal looks really long. bad. Sometimes I twirl one side and it the other really side bad. doesn't twirl and it just looks weird. There's no one on this earth besides your parents that loves me you more than I do. You got to shave. No, nah, I think you keep it, dude. I think you, you got a winning streak right now in Newtown Get Down. You, you keep yeah, it. Yeah, that's right. Oh, yeah. shit. You're 2-1, huh? That's two absurd. 2-1, baby. Team, his team is so bad. How did Skinny Wieners do? <laughs> yeah, I don't think the... <laughs> I mean, Georgie, how you doing in the in the E-Town Get Down right now? Let's get a little uh, standing Wait, wait, hold on, Wieners time, lost time. by 55 before, to Steve. Hold on. Before, that's really <laughs> oh bad. God, Nick, 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 Steve also Nick, almost before, you, before you get it's into it, we'll enjoy it. I don't know if everybody else was. We know Steen's a mush, right? So I said the Giants went down at halftime 28-10. I said, we have a New York Giants chat. I, I tell you, I was like, George, get the fuck out of the stadium. You're a mush and you know it. He goes, leaving now. <laughs> what, did they, what did they do? He left for the end of that game? I don't know if he left. Oh. I don't know if he left. <laughs> he but the leave. fact that he that said he good, was yeah. leaving. I tried to bet them. Wow. Uh, Big matchup between fucking. Uh, plus 18 and a half. The Giants were. Opportunity, I'm going to be, I'm not, I'm going to be honest through. with you. I took the, the Bucks live, live <laughs> fucking spread minus six and a half. <laughs> Oh yeah, that's right. I forgot I, I did that. Yeah, yeah, I just remember that right now, dude. There was a big matchup between uh, first and second place, Shane and Joe, in this one, and two right, teams that won't be in the playoffs. But dude, they both put up monster points this week, one eighty two to one sixty five. Remember when we were saying like Shane has? I, I'm kidding, by the way, Shane. You're gonna be in the playoffs. Joe won't. Remember when we were saying like Shane has literally everybody going at one o'clock? Yeah, it's like make or break. Put, what did he put up? One eighty? Yeah, one sixty five. One six. Yeah, but Joe's about to put up one eighty. Wow! So it was a big yeah, good I mean, game. King State Kings, good, I guess. Good game. Joe, how was your team? Oh, Larry Fitz is. Larry Fitz is. The, he, that's, yeah, yeah, Dalvin Cook, Shepard put up twenty. He had Russell Wilson put up. Shepard had a very good game. Oh my god. Even his bench played well. He got DJ Chark. That was a good pickup by him. I can't. Fuck. What a time to be alive. I don't want to be alive right now. I'm not going to win say. this league. What a time to pretend to want to be. No alive. shit, you're not going to win this league. We could have told you that a fucking mile ago. Here you go. By the way. Do you just literally say? Do you just say I'm not going to win this league? Like what? referring to the Etown get down? Yeah. What the fuck would you have thought you were going to win this league? Yeah, I'm wait, not you thought you had a chance? League. Yes. That's cute. Oh my god, in heaven. V cute. Listen, it's Nick. It's, honestly, it's I think still we're on a early. I'm two and one. I am in this week three. I'm going to get all takes exposed here, but I think me and you are on a collision course. I think we are too. You got. I think I'm having a couple things that break wrong, but I. I it's really I like, early. I love my team. It's very early, but it's really, it's, you're talking to a guy. You are thinking he's 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 on a, a collision course to the championship with you? He should be zero and three. But he's not. But I'm saying, if you're gonna say you should be zero and three, then why don't we look at points? And I'm I'm crushing you. In right. Points. That exactly. If you're gonna do it the, that the, way, the, the objective in fantasy football is to score points. Right. Right or wrong, you may run into a buzzsaw one week, but you want to score points. He's got the second most points. I will have the most points scored against me after I this put, week. I put easily the most points week one. Get the fuck out of my Max, face. Top dog, no, week animal, one. Animal, animal, animal. Scott, don't cut this. Animal, your team is really bad. I think you're getting very lucky. I hope I'm wrong. I hope we're all in the playoffs. Dude, 100 point. Remember last year when we were all in the playoffs? No, oh, oh, wait. <laughs> Remember when he <laughs> Oh, yeah, in? that's right. For all y'all that are new, right. are new to this league... Or new to this show, the fade the public. We Shouldn't covered. Be. We started last year during like week twelve or thirteen, and uh, our league was heating up. Right, and it's a ten man league, so we have four guys make the playoffs, and us three were in the running for the playoffs. 
And I was top dog. Animal was like number. I scored the most points regular season. Bitch. Yeah, but I was still I was number True. one. Okay. Anyway, go ahead, finish. So we second. all, all were basically locked place. in. It got really tight at the end, and Animal was basically a shoe in. Animal in second place. Animal was eighty points ahead, and this is like it's not like crazy bonus scoring this where that's actually, like a reasonable fucking. This is comeback. actually insane. Eighty points ahead of George. In the last week, Animal had to lose, George had to win, and outscore Animal by 80 fucking points to knock him out. And Animal had been in second place basically all year long. All year. Like, literally all year long I was in second Last place. week, he <laughs> ends up losing. George wins. Did you score, like, 40 points? <laughs> no, I put George up, like, 90 outsc- points. <laughs> George outscores Animal by, like, 100 points to yeah. fucking knock him out of the playoffs. Crazy. And it was the single greatest moment of my life. It was <laughs> awesome. But And then, wait, no, no. Awesome. And then I went and outscored the entire league the rest of the year mm. and mm. took fifth. Mm. Well, that's, that's mm. great. This here is saying... Don't give up on your fantasy football season Don't after, give up. after three weeks. George, George was like one and two, and in like second to last, he went to the championship game. He didn't win. Keep thank, the faith. Thank God. Hammer the waiver wire. Nicole Hardman, by the way. Woo. First of all, Nicole. Faith. Two two catches, ninety seven yards. That's all he's gonna be. That's what he is. That's, that's as long as Terry Kill is gone, he's probably gonna do that every game. That's that's a fucked up part. Of, that's his floor. Yeah, a seventy yard touchdown is his <laughs> floor every floor. week. How insane could that be? <laughs> How insane. Fuck that. Scott, cut this. Sammy Watkins, fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Don't cut this. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck, fuck you. you. Fuck you. How about Juju? How about Juju had a big play? Three, three, play. three for 81 as a and a touchdown. Had he not had that play, he would have been really fucking shitty today. Amen. And uh, I don't know. Let's I, talk about that backfield, though, too. Ooh. The 49ers backfield. I'm going to preface by saying I watched the whole Giants game. I wasn't watching Red Zone. I really I yeah. wasn't looking at my phone. But when I I was on my, I was driving here looking at my phone because I have to I have to prepare every time I said it, it was pre- like it was like that's your preparation <laughs> the, the four two, minutes the two drive. Minute drive from your house to animal while house. you're driving, I think I've done pretty good so while far you're, while you're driving I drunk. think I've done pretty good so far <laughs> you've done fine Breda every time I saw it was five yard run seven yard run yeah. all these runs he's really good he's very good they why are they giving it to Wilson and fucking what they give it to Wilson, Wilson is, in the goal line now. Wilson He's the goal is CJ Anderson, basically. Yeah, yeah, yeah but it's it's fucking annoying. If you're a Breda owner, it's, owner, it's, it's probably infuriating, yeah. I mean, yeah. But so Breda goes 14 for 68. Him, so 14 not. for 68. Raheem Moser goes 12 for 79. Jeff Wilson, 8 for 18, but two touchdowns. Breda catches two of three targets for 20 yards. No other running back catches a ball. So Breda was the most involved in the passing game, but like... And he's, by far the best back in that He's back. not getting the valuable carries or the valuable... Like, he's, a, he's a flex work. option. It sucks, yeah. It sucks, but he's for right now, if they're going to keep using Jeff Wilson, if, if like if they had been giving Breda the goal line work, like he would be a borderline RB1, basically. Easily. Because Jeff Easily. Wilson has four rushing touchdowns in the Easily. last two games. Yeah. But this is what and it's going to be. from like the two-yard line. So can we... Is Tevin Coleman is droppable. Easily. Yes. Easily. Because he's dealing with a high ankle sprain. He's not going to be back for another few weeks. Easily. He and wasn't he's, even drafted. He's barely so. going to have... Yeah, he was never <laughs> drafted. You should have never drafted <laughs> You drafted him. TJ Yeldon. Uh, on the flip side of things... I didn't, though. On the flip side of things, let's talk about the Steelers wide receivers. People were excited because, obviously, Dante Moncrief was a healthy scratch because he's been fucking trash all yes, year. people were very excited. So they that. they uh, benched him in favor of Juju Smith-Schuster, rookie Deontay Johnson, and James Washington. People were excited about James Washington because him and Mason Rudolph had that connection. Rudolph finishes with 174 yards, two touchdowns, runs the ball four times for 15. James Washington catches two of four targets for 14 yards. Big dud game. On the flip side, Deontay Johnson... Six targets, so only behind Juju, three for 52 and a touchdown. He is arguably the more talented player out of himself and James Washington. By far. And yes. I, I he, think I would prefer him to uh, to James Washington if we're talking about like waiver wire pickups. Yeah, I agree. I oh, actually I scooped him in a different league that um, doesn't require waivers. You just, it's the you know free agency. You can just pick him up at any time that Steve wants. Mm-hmm. And as soon as I saw that they made him like the number three, I wouldn't pick them up right away. Yeah, I think. I mean, if you were gonna flip a coin, it's like it's it's. I was fine taking him over over James Washington. I know the narrative between them playing in college together was a thing, but like nah, now we've God. seen one game. It's the NF fucking fell. Exactly. I like that. The NF fucking fell. Oh, wait, wait. Hold on, hold on. Just because I said that, I'm sorry. I I I, I do want to talk about this Steeler wide receiver corpse because I don't. I I, yeah, I guess I kind of don't either. But <laughs> Mason Rudolph doesn't look awful. He doesn't. He's gonna be competent for the rest of the year, and I think. Deontay and Juju will be okay. Juju, you're not going to get your second round value off of him. But the NFL is a fucking joke. That pass interference challenge rule is disgusting. Listen, they did it literally just to satisfy the Saints fans. That's That's it. it. 
It is ruining the game. And the refs fuck the Saints ruining two weeks in a row to start the year. Now the refs are just not calling, and they're just letting yeah. things land on the field so that they can replay it, it afterwards. It is so bad. Yeah. I am, it's easily I the worst part of the product. Well, it's really yeah. obvious, too, Awful. because even if you go back to, like, the Thursday mm. game where Tom Brady tweeted out the, the whole thing, or, or I'm not watching anymore, and then the second half starts and the refs haven't called a penalty for, like, a whole the whole quarter. You, th- you think Goodell, like, like fucking 100% radioed him? 100% someone like, said like, something. boy, Brady said something. Yeah. He's like, stop making not, calls. Maybe not no, like he, that, he but, yeah, 100%. You don't think it was that secret? No, no. Goodell's such a pussy. He texted. He didn't call anybody. Shit. But something he happened. Probably DM'd, he probably DM'd the, the official Twitter NFL account. Hoping guys, someone guys maybe. Yeah. So if someone like didn't read it, he pretended. He was like, yeah. Well, I fucking. Yeah, yeah I got hacked. <laughs> I got hacked. <laughs> when, it, when, it, when in doubt, I got hacked. Love that. So uh, Rams Browns is underway. They're about five minutes in. Everyone in that game fucking sucks right now. So if how's the, Nick Chubb doing? If the Rams cover three and a half. Then Mr. Mr. Yannick and I went a nice little parlay. So wh- why is he giving you part of that if it's his money? I asked him why he do they not have DraftKings in California. How's you doing bagels and locks? I might be two and one. Really? Same. One and one right now. One and one. What are you? One and one. Two I need one. the Rams to cover minus two three. and one for the day. Very nice snacks. Rams cover minus three, two and one. All right. So Wait, hold on. What was the final score of the Steelers game? You're good. They, they covered, they covered? 20 yeah. to 24. Two and one. I I'm, tried to get that plus six in right before yeah, the game started, dude, but DraftKings dude, kept I got fucking, him at six and a half when we recorded. Three and oh on big locks, seven and two on the year. I'm just saying, I'm making you motherfuckers money. Watch Bagels and Locks, 8.30, pay Eastern up. Time, on the channel. Snacks and Animal. He's not good at doing this. I'm great at <laughs> Every it. Every Sunday morning, yeah, he's a little better than I am. <laughs> For now. I'll be honest. Long year. I'll long be honest. Year. Long hey, you year. guys are both great. He's just great at picking games that's it. So I'm just a great person good <laughs> you guys are great yeah i need like something more like that intro is just fucking miserable it's like fake it's like it's i i kind of disagree it's i think so it's so fake that's why it's great it's, i think i think it's so animal it's because we're, okay. like, right, right. we're filming it you're right you're right we're filming at eight broken. o'clock we're filming at eight o'clock at night but he i'm feels pretending broken. like it's 7 a.m good <laughs> morning welcome back to the show oh you my motherfucker see. what is that there's a broken man inside there he feels there. broken Coming to you live from the Contaminated Dungeon, it's Max the Animal and Nikki Snacks here on Bagels and Locks. Good morning, good morning everybody and welcome to Bagels and Locks. I'm your host Max the Animal, this is my partner Nikki Snacks. Wait, you really going to go to it one? Yeah, did you, so. I hope. Did you, what do you mean I hope so? You still have a full game of the Rams kids. <laughs> I said I hope so. <laughs> did you, what's your big lock? The Rams oh, minus God. three. You got to stop Let's taking go Browns. road, <laughs> team, yeah. road when favorites. Are you gonna, when are you going to well, learn? Part of my argument was the Rams, it's not really, there's you no got home lucky. or away games for them. It's whatever. You, you got lucky that the, the entire Browns defense is out of this game. Like, oh, all well, that was why it was part of my big luck. That line moved to like four and a half. So you, Did it? You, yeah. Yeah, you uh, got three and a half. No. Well, you took it God, at three It closed at four. It was well, that wasn't that big of a movement, though. No, it was at four and a half, and then it closed at four. Okay. Yeah, you got lucky with that one, but you got to stop taking teams on the road that are giving away points. Like it's usually not a good it's combination. Good I know. I try to take the home underdogs, but there weren't any this week. There was like one home dog, and it was a shit one. Take a home favorites like the Packers. Packers are three and zero. Tell you quietly. what, so very quietly, bro, because miserable so, three and zero. Because you usually get like tinged up by the fucking offense. You're like, oh my god, Their like Rodgers is throwing good. up four hundred yeah. yards for touchdowns. So is Rodgers just like, Bleh? is that just who he is now? No. Nah. Are we still I waiting for that think, schedule? I, I can't. I think yeah, he's going to explode mid season. Quiet, but, quietly, Detroit's 2-0-1, too. Yeah, they're undefeated. 2-0-1. They're the GOAT. They lost your... Uh, I know, they fucked me. Week 1. Patriots 3-0, Lions 2-0-1. Giants 1-2. Are there any two other nine. undefeated? 49ers are 3-0. Oh, shit, that's right. But they've also like not played they, anybody. They, that won't last. They've played the Bengals, they've played the Bucks, and they've played the Steelers yeah. without Big Ben. They yeah. play the Browns next week, they'll probably fucking win. And they game. nearly lost to the Steelers. Yeah, but you know what? The whole narrative that Garoppolo is a winner is just going to keep going. So That's fine. I don't it's think, I don't think, he's, that, I don't think he's that good. No, he doesn't look good. He, am I, I'm not wrong, right? He's, no, he looks like no, trash. not good. He looks like trash. I want no part of Garoppolo. All right. I'd love to look like Garoppolo. I mean. Holy shit. That guy's a handsome dude. He's a good looking dude. Right. Someone said I was listening to a podcast the other wait, day. Wait, wait. You, you, coming from you, you said he's all right. I'm a handsome guy. Who are the I'm best? Who are the best looking dudes there. in the NFL? Garoppolo's one. Brady's two. Emmanuel Sanders. He's a good looking dude. He's a good looking dude. He's just a good looking dude. He's Saquon sharp. Barkley's good looking dude. Saquon is definitely he's a good looking dude. I think dude. Eli's handsome. I think you're. Fucking, I think you're stretching. I think you're a fucking insane. <laughs> Eli Manning. He's handsome, handsome in what way? Like if you're his mother, you would call him no, handsome. He's like a dad. He's a dad. He's not handsome. He's a handsome dad. He's a dilf. He's he's not. 
He's a dilf to you? I'm glad you feel that way. I think Miko Hardman is underrated. I don't even know what he looks like. If you gave me a yeah, lineup well, of five I, guys, I would be so we're talking about looks you. still? Yeah. Oh, wow. Well, Minshew. What about Minshew? Uh, he I'm gets sorry. He, a lot of girls that I follow on Twitter really like him. Yeah, I bet. Yeah. He's 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 a he's a winner in a lot of different aspects of what, life. What do we think of Daniel Daniel Dimes? Is he also fucking ugly? Ugly shit. That's why he's good at football. You know what it is? All the guys like they they need just a different hairstylist. Like they could be yeah. good. Like Daniel Jones probably if you gave him a normal haircut where you like cut the sides and like did something nice and on nice top. Fade or something. Like why does yeah. he just like just cut like do that? He only cares about ball. He only cares about football. That's he why he cares about ball. Ball is life. Love ball it. is life. All right, fine. I can't believe he fucking down eighteen and a half time. He came back on that game. I'm sorry. I didn't realize they were. Down I'm like blown away. Time. It's fucking ridiculous. I'm blown away. It was fourth and five. Whoa, Todd Gurley. Three yard run. <laughs> <laughs> Get fucking bodied. I tell you what. I tell you what. Watch out. He's you, Gurley's going to miss time. He's going to get Malcolm hurt. Malcolm Brown score? Did Malcolm Brown score? Malcolm Brown is waiting on my bench. He's waiting in the wings. None of them have no, done anything. Made a bet they're just, they're just going back and forth touchdown. between the 40s right now, these two teams. Plus 325. Like one yard run. One yard run. Incomplete pass to Robert Woods. Incomplete pass to Robert Woods. I, w- I really want to see something from Baker in Cleveland today. They, they played the Jets, and they did not look good no. outside of Odell's fucking 80-yard touchdown. I got to tell you, both of these teams playing right now, I'm concerned about everything so on the I. field. I, I'm the, the Rams wide to... receivers, Cooks, Robert Woods, are not yep. doing things. Yep. The Browns, I mean, Odell did his thing last week, but like, that was it. That was so that a lot of pieces that just aren't performing. I feel like we, we actually we skipped over this. Texans and the Chargers. Chargers look kind of like a... Uh... Shit. Yeah. We said that. Did I mean, we? I don't, no, we, I don't I, remember. I said, we, they we just look like the Chargers. Maybe we talked about it on, on Bagels and Locks. That team is just so banged up. They're just they've so many injuries. Like what are they? What can they Their do? Their offensive line is shit. Their defense. They want to. I got a nice. Uh, they want to win from the run game. Bad. Sixteen game pace uh, through three games. Tweet from Michael Zingone. Oh yeah, hit us. Two hundred. So two hundred twenty four targets, one hundred fifty five receptions, two thousand one hundred fifty five yards, and sixteen touchdowns. Good That's God. what he's on pace for right now. If he, he went thirteen games, for one eighty three. How about this? How about this? If he goes on that pace, I'll blow you live on air. Well, obviously he's not going to fucking do that, and that's not like a bet that I'll I would want to make. Take that where, bet. where do? Wait, <laughs> hold on. Wait for what? I capitalize on opportunity. You just I, missed your I, chance. You just missed the, I, the snacks blow job. What the fuck is Jordan Aikens doing? What is D Hop doing? What is D Hop? Yeah, what doing? Well, yeah, that's what why I wanted to talk on? about this what game. Six for sixty seven. He did his best fucking Tyler Boyd impression. Yeah, that's not this great. is unfucking annoying. That's not great. Because we're, we're throwing the ball deep. Deshaun Watson, I love him. But, like, he's pisses me off we, watching we, him. We were saying, don't like the one. Before, it's, I, before it's not I left. His fault. Before I left in the no, game, it's not like at still all. within reach. I was like, all right, Matt Ryan, Julio just connected. That's my stack. You need your stack, D Watt and, and Hopkins. Watson ended up going for like 27. But, no, no, no. That, but, I'm yeah. saying, but it wasn't. To Hopkins, it, yeah, you, need, you need the connection. Yeah, well, like, yeah, I would never. Watson's not the guy. I, I would worry about Hopkins right now. Yeah, I mean, I'm not worried about it, but like, not like legitimately he's worried. Shadow, he got shadowed. He got shadowed by Rams. Could be a season thing where he's going to have a couple of those six, seven point stinker games. Yeah, he's already of, done fucking his. He, he already hit his quota for that shit for the year for me. Yeah, if he, it could be. That happens again. I'm dropping him. <laughs> <laughs> At least don't be mad. It was either be him or Devonte, and both of them. Yeah, both that's been, true. Whatever. Exactly. Yeah. So anyone who's mad about Devonte, like, should just taken Dalvin Cook. Yeah, you should just taken Julio. Should have just taken fucking. Daniel Jones. Jeez. Jeez. I'm signing off on that. Yeah, I think this is it. All right, y'all. If y'all enjoyed the uh, episode, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. This is the recap for week three fantasy football. Uh, drop some sit star questions for week four. We love you. We love Daniel Jones. I really Jones. do. Col- Remember, Colin B. Shout out, baby. This is a uh, this is now a Daniel Jones stand podcast. <laughs> this is it. Next week, Daniel Jones <gasps> coverage coming at you. <laughs>